Hello, my name is Marie Smalls, and I'm the director for the Board of Voter Registration and Elections of Beaufort County. We would like for all of our voters in Beaufort County to be informed. One thing that you can do is verify your current information. Make sure that your address is up to date, and that if you had a name change, make sure that that is also done. You can do this by contacting our office, or you can go visit our website, BufordCountySC.gov forward slash vote. Or you may contact our office and let us know that you have made a change to either your address or to your name. The next thing that you can do is make sure you know where your polling location is. Sometimes there are changes to polling location. This information is located on your voter registration card or again you may visit our website to verify where you need to go to vote. Clicking on polling location and find my polling location. Another thing that you could do is know what's going to be on the ballot. If you know what's going to be on the ballot prior to going to the polling location, it will lessen your time at the voting machine. Also, don't forget to bring with you to the polls on election day one of the five required photo ID. And those are a South Carolina driver's license, a photo ID that's been issued by the Department of Motor Vehicle, a South Carolina voter registration card with photo, a military ID, or a U.S. passport. Now, here is a demonstration how our new voting system will work in South Carolina by our system specialist, Mr. Vernon Kemp. Hello, I'm here to show you exactly how you're going to vote on the express vote ballot marking device. The first step is you're gonna be issued your ballot card to be inserted into the express vote. Your card, your ballot card will have an indent and a cut mark on the top right corner. And you'll be inserting your ballot card into the same slot with the same cut mark orientation on the express vote. Notice that your ballot will now be fed into the express vote immediately. Your ballot will be displayed immediately and you may now start voting. You now have a Zoom feature when you press Zoom to enlarge your ballot and your contest so that you'll be able to see in a larger format the candidate's name or the contest name. The other feature that you have, you may be able to press contrast and now your ballot inverts into black and white. The Express Vote also offers headphones for those voters who are vision impaired. You may now also navigate through your ballot using the actual keypad. The great feature about this is it's all in braille. They can also press the screen and it will create privacy for the ballot. With your ballot now being shown and displayed, you may now commence voting. One of the greatest features added on to this is that there's the ability to where you cannot overvote on your ballot. You can make any selection but once you try to make any additional selections, it will change to the current uh, selection that you make. In this contest, we're going to use the write-in feature. Once you select write-in, the keyboard will, uh, will display and you're able to type in the name of a particular person that you would like to vote for. Once I select accept, now my selection has been displayed. Once the voter has already went through their ballot, they will have a review screen to be able to see exactly what choices they have made. If a voter decides that they would like to change a particular contest on their ballot that they were not satisfied with or they feel like they need to change it immediately, they can touch on the contest and change to whatever the right selection they would like to make. As Soon as they press next, it takes them back to the review screen. As soon as they finish the review screen, it will take them to the print card screen. It will print their ballot and their ballot card will eject from the express vote. Now the voter will actually have a paper trail showing exactly what selections they made on their ballot. This is a new feature for South Carolina and it ensures that the voter will now have a better opportunity of understanding what they selected and they feel assured that they're ready to cast their ballot. If they have any issues with their ballot or they feel that their ballot is not correct, then they can ask a poll worker at their poll location to help assist them in reissuing them a new ballot and the previous ballot will be spoiled. 
Once the voter is satisfied with their ballot, they will take their ballot over to our DS200, which is a scanner, ballot tabulation device, and they will feed the ballot in in the top black tray with the green arrow of insert card here. They can place the ballot in any orientation, whether it's face down or backwards. Once they insert it, the DS200 will scan the ballot and it will say, thank you for voting, your ballot has been cast. Notice that the public count number has increased. Their ballot will drop down into a blue ballot box and will be locked and sealed until election night.